Don't you love it when your problems can be solved with the contents of a can or a pill or a spray? That's the best, but sometimes you got to dive in and do something about an AC problem that doesn't have to do with something you can find from a can. For example, if your AC compressor or clutch is worn out, you're going to have to replace them. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video a real simple test that you can do to see if you need a new AC compressor or compressor clutch. Ryan's Mobile One. This little tester, I'll leave a link in the description, but it's the easiest way to test and diagnose things that are electrical, and it's less than 100 bucks. You'll use it, I promise. I've got it clamped on the negative and positive terminals, so I can send uh, power or ground. See the green light for ground, red light for power. So what I'm going to do is, this is a brand new AC compressor and clutch, and this is an example of what should happen if you run power to the power wire on your AC compressor. This is where the action is going to happen right here and right here. Watch for the red light showing power and watch for the electromagnetic plate to just click together. Can you see the way that works? This is something in its working status or working form. Another thing that I'm going to demonstrate real quickly here is if I spin this, notice how this inside part, the clutch part, doesn't engage. This shaft goes through the compressor. So this is just kind of like a coaster bearing that your belt runs on. Watch what happens when I lock this up. It turns the whole thing, and this one really doesn't want to turn. See, it spins freely, and then when the clutch locks up, it takes a lot of force because it's a compressor. That's what it does, and this is actually pretty hot and under pressure right now with these uh, shipping caps. So let's go to the uh, compressor that's on the car that's not working properly and see what that does. This is the power wire for said compressor clutch. You don't hear any clicking, do you? The only clicking you hear is from my thumb. But when we look to the outside here, we don't see the compressor clutch engaging at all. Another indicator that it was the clutch when I was looking at this to even want to test it is that when you look closely, you can see a bunch of rust and oxidation. Oxidation means things are oxidized, burned, rusted. Rust is literally a slow burn. But when we get close, we can see melted uh, black compound pieces, shaved metal. It's just in rough shape. This thing's got some miles on it, and uh, unfortunately, it's just worn out. So we need to get in there and do that. Now you can price these out. Sometimes these compressor clutches are, I don't know, they're expensive is what they are. It costs almost the same amount for the whole AC compressor as it does for the clutch. So oftentimes what we'll do as mechanics is uh, preemptively fix this by replacing it together with that and save the customer money. It's not that we're trying to spend more, it's just we've done this before. It's awkward when you fix this and you pay for all the labor, all the evacuation recharge or whatever, because you can't do this one in the car so well. It's a lot easier to just pull the whole thing out to replace the clutch, because the clutch is right on the end there. There's just a whole bunch of metal in the way, basically. So if you're going to pull the compressor out and change the clutch, it's a good idea to just do the whole compressor. Now you can get around that, you can unbolt it and tip it out and aim it, and it's a huge pain in the neck. It's more labor time for the customer to have to pay. So I typically just replace the compressor with the clutch if the price is a close price at all. Okay, so next up I'm going to start the car. I'm going to run power to this little wire right here. And the center part should engage and rotate all together. Now why am I running power to the center wire? I'm glad you asked. That is an awesome question. I'm glad you're thinking about that. So this wire gets power when a certain number of conditions are met. If your AC relay is working, if your high side and low side pressure ports are working, if you're at the right level of charge, all those things have to happen to send power to this. This is like the final say so. This is like going straight to the manager and saying go. And uh, if we push power to that, it should engage together. See how the middle part can turn without the uh, other? So this is on a bearing and it's independent. See this inside part, you can turn pretty good. They're independent from each other until this wire gets power, and once it does, they spin together in unison, and the power from this belt goes from the uh, motor crankshaft power to turn the compressor, and that's what makes your high side, low side work. You have to pressurize one side in order to have that step down effect that causes things to be cold. So the engine's running, you can clearly see that the pulleys are moving, the belt's going. So if I put power to this, that electromagnetic clutch should engage and spin the middle of the compressor. Watch for the red light, watch for the birdie. So I'm running power to this, you can see it's making contact, but that clutch is not engaging, it's not doing anything at all. Like I say, I'll put a, a link to the description for a power probe like this. This is a third generation, I don't know if I'll be able to find you one with flames on it, but 
I'll find the best deal I can for you. Another reason why it's a good idea to replace the compressor on this particular 07 Honda Civic is because it's been opened before. If you look at that cylinder there, there's a bunch of dye there. When I hit it with the UV light, see it turn bright green? That tells me that somebody's put dye in the system, which means there's been a leak, which means all the oil and refrigerants come out, which means there's a good chance that somebody did it wrong or got crud in the system, which can contaminate and shorten the life of the compressor. We've got the new compressor installed, so we're dealing with a different connector. It's just connected as it was before. So if I run power to this, I should get a clutch response. Let's see how we did here. We've got clutch response. We're looking good. So I'm going to finish the install, get the system charged, and uh, show you what it looks like with the compressor clutch coming on properly. Here's the compressor with it running properly. You'll have to pardon the noise and get that with the fans. The fans come on the same time as the compressor does. It's like a train station. There's a train station under your dash that's called the evaporator. That's where all the heat passengers get on and they get carried by the compressor out to the condenser. There it shuts off. You'll see it kick on here again in a minute. That's all automatic. You don't even have to worry about it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Subscribing doesn't mean anything anymore unless you click the little bell next to it. So be sure to do that too and it'll notify you when I post new videos. Bonus footage at the end. <laughs> all right. You guys want to go off of this one? <laughs>